Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be showing you the Minecraft 1.19 news from the last week along with Minecraft 1.18.2 which released on Monday and so if you like Minecraft videos like this one then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft 1.19 videos and other Minecraft videos. And so we'll start with Minecraft 1.18.2 and then afterwards we'll check out some Minecraft developer tweets about Minecraft 1.19 the wild update. And so yes, as I mentioned, 1.18.2 released on Monday. We also got a release candidate on Friday, I believe. And so I'll quickly just go through all the additions and changes of 1.18.2 if you missed the last videos. So some of the changes in 1.18.2 are that you will now get warned if you play on a 32-bit environment because support is gonna end soon and if you play in South Korea you will get some gameplay timers and reminders to take breaks any seat that has spaces before or after will just ignore the spaces and the seat zero will no longer be treated as special then dolphins will now more accurately pick the closest structure and also inner chests will no longer be gift wrapped during Christmas so yeah as for changes not that interesting per se but the technical changes are more interesting because we got a new command which is the place feature command if you want to know more about this command check out the link in the top right of your screen where i explain it in a little bit more detail but generally what is the place feature command is that you can actually place different things like trees and for example an amethyst geode or bamboo and there's many different things you can place down using the place feature command for example we can place down a clay pool with drip leaves right where we are and there we go we now have a beautiful clay pool of drip leaves that normally generate in the lush caves right here on this little island so it's a really cool command and will be quite useful for map making and then there were also some changes to both the locate command and the locate biome command you can now add tags here in the locate command where you search for for example any type of mine shaft or any type of ocean ruin or any type of village so let's say i want to go to the nearest village we will see that that is a taiga village and it's 874 blocks away we can teleport to it if we would want to so that was now added but also what's now added is indeed that you can specify for example if you want to go to a mesa mine shaft or a normal mine shaft or a cold ocean ruin or a warm ocean ruin different types of ruined portals different types of shipwrecks and also to the different types of villages so let's say i don't want to go to the nearest village which is a taiga but i want to go to a plains village i just do locate Minecraft Village Plains and then it tells me where the nearest Plains Village is which is quite far away 2600 blocks and so that's the change to the locate command as for the locate biome command you can now also search for biomes that have specific structures so if you want to go to a biome that can generate with an igloo you would do this and you find a snowy slopes biome so that's a biome where an igloo can generate in and that's over here and then apart from hash structure there's also another tag for example that the biome is a beach or is a deep ocean or is a forest of some kind so Let's say we want to go to the nearest forest biome. We let's see that is an old growth birch forest, only 140 blocks away, probably right behind me. And so those are the two tags here for the locate biome command. And then there were also many different data pack changes and of course many, many bug fixes. So around 100 bug fixes actually. If you want to read through the entire patch notes, I will leave them linked in the description down below. So you can check those out down there. But that is it for Minecraft 1.18.2. Let's now just go over to Twitter to check out the developer tweets about minecraft 1.19 first we have a tweet by felix and it's actually not especially about 1.19 but i did think this was worth mentioning and so he said had a brief discussion about uncanny first person animations which reminded me of this time back in 1.16 when i was trying to fix a certain bug which was mob heads held awkwardly and ended up wasting two fridays prototyping an oddly uncanny two-handed hold animation specific to skulls and so he posts a beautiful developer screenshot here which i always enjoy seeing and look at this so he coded this in where instead of holding a skull like we currently do you actually hold it with two hands and the skull just looks at you which which I think is actually a pretty cool way of doing it but well it didn't get added into the game of course because it was for 1.16 and we never saw this and then also he looked into the offhand and see what that would look like and so yeah this is what it would look like if you had two skulls in your hands with this animation he coded and so I just think this is so cool to see some back end of the game where you can see what actually didn't get added to an update sticking with Felix he always has really really great tweets 
And so I can't actually tell if this is a joke or not, but he says perhaps the debug stick should one hit KO the warden. Of course, the warden has like 500 health, and so it takes around 30 hits with a netherite sword with sharpness 5 to actually kill it. And so it would be nice to have a weapon that could just one hit KO the warden. Of course, you could give yourself strength or put a very high level of sharpness on a sword, but this would also be a cool idea to just have the debug stick one hit KO any mob. Or, of course, it would just rotate the warden and turns it into a corner step. Also possible. Then next we have a tweet here by King Bedox about Skulk, and he says this is how to manipulate Skulk charge movement. And so here we see an image by Foundation over here who figured out how to direct Skulk charges. And so here he explains it. So for example, if this Skulk block is charged and so it has the particles around it, then it can only traverse to a block that is non-solid. So it can't go through a solid block and so it won't go to the left over here into this stair or down into this stair. And so the only way it can go is to the right over here. And so the charge can only move from this block to a connected block and it can also be diagonally. And so in that way it can only go down here into this block and so the charge will go from this block into this block and then over here and then we'll just repeat and just go into this block and there's also a nice video up here which explains this a whole lot better than i can with just words so here we see that the charge in the scope blocks travels through these different setups from one end to the other and here's another setup over here where the charges move from the bottom left over to the top and then to the bottom right because of the different stairs and trapdoor configurations and so this was instigated by a previous tweet from Nembom who was asking for skull experiment mechanics and then somebody asked that it would be nice to be able to manipulate which way the skull charges were moving and Nembom answered with you can and gave the hint of trapdoor and stair and so finally figured it out and shared this with the rest of Twitter and then King Bedox of course also retweeted that here. Then we have a really interesting tweet thread here by King Bedox and it is about the different editions currently in the first deep dark experimental snapshot. If you want to know exactly what is in that snapshot, link to my review video is in the top right of your screen and there will also be a link there where I explain how to download the first deep dark experimental snapshot. And so King Bedox has a little tier list of the different editions. And so the best editions according to him currently are the Skull Catalyst, the Skulk, Skulk Veins and Reinforced Deep Slate. And so we'll get to his explanations in a second. But then A tier, still great, are Skulk Sensor and Swift Sneak Enchantment. Then currently B tier are the Warden, Skulk Shrieker and Ancient Cities. They will still need some work, of course, that's still possible. There's many different snapshots still left, both experimental and non-experimental. And then D tier currently is the Deep Dark Biome, and the current worst edition is the Loot in the Ancient Cities. And so let's get into this a little bit deeper. So here King Bedox explains that Skulk and Skulk Veins he thinks are great decoration blocks and the animated starry spots have lots of potential. The Skull Catalyst is a better designed block that intertwines tech and adventure and so has many different positive features. As for reinforced deep slate it adds mystery to the game and it does its job well, whatever that means. The Skulk sensors are very unique and interesting but have some design problems with how feasible they are to use. And of course we already experienced this a lot of course because the Skull sensors were already in 1.18 and we didn't really see too many creations with it so let's hope Hope that will be improved in the future in 1.19. And as for the Swift Sneak enchantment, it needs to be in leggings, not in boots. Then it is an even better enchantment, and I do think they are planning to change that. Then as for the Warden, it is currently just too easy to cheese, but it has really great atmosphere. The problem right now for me is that the immersion intention stops when you pillar up. They mentioned this before, they want the Warden to have some sort of counter attack to the player just pillaring up and killing the Warden like that. So you might see that in a future snapshot. As for the Skulk Shrieker, it needs to be tuned so it doesn't spawn wardens anywhere or in places the warden shouldn't. Yeah, so currently if you just activate a Skulk Shrieker, it just spawns a warden every single time, which is a little bit too much maybe. As for the ancient cities, they are really immersive, but have some problems with the aquifers and biome collisions that destroy the experience. Then the deep dark biome placement is not tuned well and could use some tweaking on how it places Skulk patches. Currently it just places some random patches of Skulk blocks around your world which doesn't really seem like a complete biome to me so they We'll probably tune that a little bit in the future. And then as for the loot in the ancient cities, it just isn't worth it currently. There's just some snowballs and of course a swift sneak enchantment. And so King Bedox also mentioned that they might not get to addressing all of the issues, but they'll do their best of course. And something in D tier doesn't mean it's a bad feature. It's more that it isn't currently achieving what it was meant to do. And so the final statement here is that wardens are B tier in this list, but in terms of experience, it's really more like S tier in my opinion. It's a great feature, it just needs a little bit more 
tweaking to make it achieve what its design intent is. We as a team are gonna tackle these issues when we can. All right, and then finally we just end off with a beautiful tweet here by King Medox. Who wants to relax in the ancient city saunas? I bet you can use the skulk bubbles to make a jacuzzi. So the ancient cities actually have a structure called a sauna, which there is an image of right down here. And so yeah, there's just two pools of water in this part of the ancient city. And here we can also see that the player over here spawned an axe level. And so this is where the axe level and wardens would meet. Because we did see a tweet a long time ago where I believe King Bedox mentioned that the axe level and warden would actually have some sort of interaction of some sort. So who knows, we might see that in a future snapshot. But there we go. Those are the different developer tweets about Minecraft 1.19 from the last week week along with the new changes and additions of Minecraft 1.18.2. So if you like Minecraft videos like this one then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft 1.19 videos and other Minecraft videos. I want to thank my tier 3 member this Mikla. Thank you so much for becoming a tier 3 member. If you also want to become a member click the blue join button for the video to check out the different tiers. But there we go. I hope you all enjoyed the job so in the next one. So until then. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye.